What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today it's a first for myself. I've never done a review on this type of vehicle. Today we are reviewing a Jeep, but not just any Jeep. It is the brand new 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Let's get right into it. This is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport. We will be reviewing today, guys, and I'm pretty stoked about it. This is basically a Jeep. I mean, a Jeep, full Jeep and full truck. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically, it's what it is. It has a towing capacity just like a pickup truck. It's got over 7,000, um, it can tow over 7,000 pounds and it's got a payload of 1,500, meaning it can store over 1,500 pounds into the bed. Uh, just like a Jeep, you can take off the hood, off the, um, the, the roof of the car, all these things and throw them into the back of the truck and go for a ride, take the doors off if you want. You can do it all. It's a Jeep through and through, which I absolutely love. Let's get right into this bad boy. You guys have seen plenty of Jeeps, but let's talk more about it when we get inside because it is hot in Florida right now. Kind of a sneak peek real quick to, we will be looking at these in the near future. These beauties just came in. So if you guys, the, the new wide body um, scat packs, and if you guys are interested in these, you got an F8 green and a high octane red. If you guys are interested in them, please hit up my buddy John and also tell them you saw this video from me. So I, I continue on doing videos and uh, doing reviews. Uh, the last video, you guys helped out so much when we did the review on the Scat Pack and um, on the 1320. And thanks to you guys, um, people reached out and they were able to get the sale. And that helped me out because now they're willing to do more reviews with me. So let's get right back into this beauty. Holy cow, it is hot out there. We are inside the car, the, the cabin of the, the Jeep. Now, like I said, this is the Sport. So therefore, it's the, the bottom trim of the Jeep packages. There's about four different trims. You have a Sport S, then you have a, I forgot the other one, the third one, and the fourth one is obviously the Rubicon. The Rubicon is a $20,000 price jump. This one in particular is around $45,000, $43,000. Let me see. $46,000, all right? So the actual Rubicon is $20,000 more. It's about $65,000. And um, I was kind of, I was curious to know what's the difference um, the, in the price. I'll get over that in a, a second, but I'm gonna quickly show you the interior of this car. All right, so on the inside, very similar to much Dodges. Let me lower this down a little bit. So very similar to much Dodges in general, even though the Jeep, um, same owners, right? Same makers. Uh, you got your traditional uh, uh, speedometers here that are kind of deep in there. Uh, it's very similar to the previous Jeeps. You have your detachable hood here. Obviously, I'm not going to take that off. And it is hot. Um, you got your speakers. You got, obviously, so this would come off. This would stay on. It's pretty much everything on the inside. The back seat has plenty of room, considering it's a, a pretty much like a mid-size truck. Um, the screen is actually smaller, so this is the 7-inch screen. The Rubicon comes with the 8.4, and I've seen that it's much bigger. It's a little bit more deeper and uh, very nice. But still, you do get the touch screen, um, you know, screens, and you can do all the media and, and things like that. Your phone, it's, it does everything else. Very responsive, uh, very impressed. You got your traditional handle that goes on mo most of uh, all Jeeps, pretty much. The media, I'm very curious to know why there's four auxiliary cords or ports here. So if you turn each one on, I'm kind of curious to know where that's all coming from. Uh, you got your 12 volt battery, oops, sorry, 12 volt battery. Then you have your, uh, pretty much your knob to, for your different train stuff. Um, Another aux, you got your USB, and you got a micro SD. Sorry, then I'm over here changing it. Um, your windows are up here compared to your normal Dodge stuff. You know, they're usually on the doors, but since the doors come off, everything's up front here. You have your, you know, your traction control off, on. This does have the trail, I think it's called trail, uh, let me see, what is that the mode called? It's like tra trail rated. So, I mean, it can go off-road with no problems at all. 
which is pretty neat. All right. Ugh. Actually, I love is the actual headroom up here. If you think about it, look how much headroom it is up there. This looks, by looking at this right here, it looks like it's in your way. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but realistically, it's not. You have a lot of headroom up here. Not to mention, once you take the actual hood off, the roof off, you're gonna be, um, have plenty of room. Uh, real quick, wanted to point out how much room I have. Now, the, I was in the front seat, had plenty of room. I actually moved the chair back. So, this is my legs room right now. Not the most of room, but I have to keep in mind, I am six feet, and that front seat up there is pretty far back. This is pretty standard and this is pretty roomy. You got your vents in the back here, really nice. You can control the back windows from here. See, that's pretty neat, nothing new. Got your cup holders on the bottom. It is very cool, this thing is like a Swiss Army knife. It's just got everything you need, even though you may not even need most of this stuff. But I really do like this car, I would love to have one myself. Pretty fun for the family to go have fun in, go off-roading. But at the same time, if you got to clean up a little bit and take some stuff to the dump, you're totally for it. All right, let's get back into the front and let's go for a drive. All right, hopefully this thing doesn't move around too much. There we go. I want to make sure it's nice and tight for us. As you can see, it's hot. Now, this color of this Jeep is not your traditional black. Hear me out. It's actually the... Uh, it's called the uh, HAB edition. So basically, the black is, it makes it, it draws in the sun, so it's hot as balls. It is super hot in this truck. That's not really the name of the color. It's just traditional black. And um, yeah, let's move this car up a little bit. Much, uh, very roomy. Like I said, you saw me in the back. It was very roomy. Um, great, a little bit on the snug side, actually. Passenger side had a lot more room. That was because this, pass this driver's seat was backed up all the way. Meaning you have a lot of room for a person who's six feet, six two, if they want to, you know, sit up close. The thing about these Jeeps is they're not the type where you lean back like a Challenger or a Charger and they have low roofs. These you kind of want to sit up close because you're not going to be leaning back with these. You really do feel more engaged because you're sitting up the whole time. So, um, yeah, let's get going. All right, so wanted to adjust the camera there. Sorry about that. So right off the bat, the drive, very smooth, very sturdy. You are higher up compared to driving your traditional muscle car. So I will say that is a big difference. Um, I'm not used to driving in that. Very similar to driving in, it's funny I want to say this, but in a, a Jeep, but also in a, uh, a Dodge uh, pickup truck. Very high up, very sturdy. Um, I'm not feeling very wobbly. I feel, feel very secure and stable. Now, if you guys are interested in the Rubicon or if you're interested in different models, they do have more of these and they are going pretty fast because people are in high demand of these vehicles. Now, if you can see, I just hit a nice little like bump in the road type thing and it felt like nothing, which is really neat about this truck. I really do like it. And it's pretty cool saying a uh, truck, even though it's a Jeep. All right, um, hold on, my door was open, I didn't even notice. All right, so um, like I said, don't even notice you're really in a truck or in a Jeep. Pretty neat. Very smooth drive. Very smooth drive. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, as stated before, the actual tow load is over 7,000 pounds. I think it's like 7,125, and then the uh, what a payload is 1,600. So you can that's. That's a pretty uh, a nice amount of weight there that you can tow around. Um, that's pretty much like a small boat. And um, yeah, it's, it's very impressive. Now there's different models. So you have the obviously the um, Sport, Sport S, and I don't know that third one, I'm sorry. Then the fourth one is the Rubicon. Does that justify the price or the $20,000 price jump between the two? I was very curious to know why. So apparently there's like a, um, a rear lock uh, suspension or differential in the back that you can adjust. The, basically the suspension is adjustable and on the Rubicon you can actually just pretty much go rock climbing if you wanted to. Um, with these, 
not so much with the sport it's it's a your traditional um, suspension not adjusting in any way uh, another thing is that's a cool feature with all of these Jeeps with the gladiator the gladiators is Dodge has confirmed that you can take the Hellcat <coughs> the Hellcat crate engine and drop it right into these Jeeps so normally people buy Jeeps in general in the past and still do they buy older Jeeps and they drop V8 engines in them or some they drop the six cylinder and take out the four cylinder and then put in these four these eight V8s whatever well Dodge has confirmed you can take a Hell crate engine and drop it in I'm talking about this little behind Jeep or aka truck Jeep can have over 700 horsepower that is a lot of power in this little truck which is really neat so it's plug and play if you're looking into one of these and um, you can have some fun and the neat thing is is that you can plug and play into the actual lowest model which is the sport which is really neat um, which is I don't see anybody buying a v6 Challenger or a v6 um, Charger and dropping a hell crate in, a hell crate into it um, but it's very common amongst the uh, the Jeep crowd because you guys do like to drop bigger engines you know bigger engines into your Jeep I'm not an expert when it comes to Jeeps but I do um, know a lot of people who actually do Jeep modding and do the, the rock climbing so I kind of see what they do and the kind of toys they build and it's very impressive that Jeep community that's the reason why Jeeps hold their value so much is because of the personal value and the, you know that they hold for them so you can get a 98 Jeep for like you know I don't know maybe eight thousand dollars which is very you know it's a pretty high price for what um, 20 20 year old car anyways um, it's back to the performance here great vehicle I'm loving the look of it I love the feel of it I really do um, I, I wish I could kind of give you more words but the car is so smooth it glides it really is coming from a Jeep um, normally I've been in Jeeps other ones they're very sturdy um, and you felt like very rugged and it just seems like this is just cruising and I'm floating on this road here uh, right now I'm on normal roads I'm pretty sure I can go off-road I'm not going to this is obviously um, the dealership's car I do not want to do that but as far as um, comfortable it, it's great this is the cloth seat package so it doesn't have any leather in it or anything like that you can get leather on it but it's um, very nice all right so quickly I'm not going off-road but I am sort of because I got to make a U-turn so this is me driving around in it I'm driving down a bumpy road here it's not it's nothing it's very smooth very sturdy one second all right so I was just trying to understand the levers here I'm not like I said I'm not a Jeep expert there is levers on the side here that obviously lift you up and lift you down on your seat it gives you a nice feel if you keep on pulling up your seat belt's gonna get tighter you keep on pushing down it's gonna bring you down lower you probably see me going down just a slight bit which is pretty nice right now I'm at the bottom and uh, that's pretty neat so man I, the thing about I like about this Jeep guys is that I really just want to go off-road and do some cool things with it and it gives you that fire inside just go do something uh, versus you know you're in a, a muscle car you're not gonna do that right um, or any pickup truck I've been in pickup truck pickup trucks yeah, pickup trucks before f-150s and the Dodge and Rams they're very big and when you get in there you're like moving around this just feels like it hugs the dirt like it feels more comfortable in the dirt than it does on the road but at the same time the road is very smooth so it's very adaptable to the its environment which is really neat um watch this so going right over and there you go like nothing i mean as far as pickup goes it's pretty impressive nothing serious uh a lot of noise not going anywhere but go ahead and drop one of your little v8 engines that you find uh some little help crane engines you might be happy with it i couldn't imagine the power you're probably gonna have to replace your drivetrain but um your drive shaft i'm sorry but other than that i mean this thing is great it is hot right now in florida it's like 95 so this car attracts heat because of the color there is i believe there's i think four on the lot right now to the white one a black one two black ones and i think you know three blacks 
and a white. So uh, two of them I think are Rubicons and the rest of them are sports. So that's that. If you're interested in the uh, the actual wide body scat packs that just came in, they literally have tape on them. They're still in, what's the, the, the mode? It's called like a, like a dealer mode pretty much where you're not allowed to drive them. Um, you can just like park them and that's pretty much it. We're gonna be doing a review on that one very soon, but if you're interested, they are available. They, if you're gonna interested in buying them, they will quickly roll them things out to you. No problem, no questions asked. They have an F8 green uh, and a high octane red. So you got two of them on the lot. Actually, they got three. They have a destroyer gray. It was actually the story behind that was a gentleman bought it, very interested in it, bought it, and then he uh, traded in his truck for it, got the destroyer gray Hellcat, I mean, uh, Scat Pack, and then he needed a truck again and brought it back within like within a month. And so it's got a little bit on the higher mile, not higher mileage, it's probably got like not even less than a thousand miles on it, probably like five or six hundred miles on it. They don't want to add any, add any more miles. So if I, that was the one we're supposed to do a review on today. We're supposed to do a double header today with the Jeep and that one. But the problem was the dealership doesn't want to put any more miles on it because they want to sell it. Not many people are going to want a used car so early, especially being so, so brand new. So, um, but the FA green and the high octane red, we will be doing a review on one of those two very soon. So, um, if you're interested in them, let them know that you saw it on my video because that right there brings in, um, you know, they like that. They like to know that, you know, that I'm reviewing these, that I'm hooking you guys up. You know what I mean? And they were very appreciative the last times. Hit my boy John up. He's a great guy. Knows Mopar in and out. Knows and we're, he was letting me know about this Jeep. Everything. He's like, you got to let people know about this Jeep. Uh, it's they're just the coolest thing out there right now. I really, I to be honest with you, I thought the Jeeps kind of looked ugly with the pickup the bed um, in the beginning, but they've grown on to me. Once I see them in person, there's something else. In picture, they don't look that great, but the moment you get in one. <coughs> It's a, it's a whole other experience. So I truly recommend if you want to look into one of these Jeeps, just go get it. It's great. It really is. So smooth. Um, everything about it, it's great. Uh, if I were to give my quick reviews on it, as far as ratings go, I'd give it a 8 out of 10. Th on this model, it's a sport model. I'm sure I'd feel different about the Rubicon. The Rubicon does come with a lot more features, and um, that would probably give me right up there with a 9, if not the high 10s. Um, you know, if you're a Jeep lover, but at the same time, you respect the pickup truck, this is it. It's very smooth, um, very sturdy. It hugs whatever terrain you throw at it. You throw asphalt, you throw grass, you throw dirt. It just hugs to it, and you're not jerking around and having whiplash, which I really do like about that. Um, if I were to get, a, if I had to choose between this and a regular Jeep, I'd get this for sure. Um, so, totally worth it. Uh, this one right here, if you're interested, it is $45,000, $46,000, and I'm sure that's just the dealer sticker. You know, it'll come down once you come in here and you look at the, the dealer, um, they start taking off rebates and things like that. So, um, right now, they got plenty coming in, and these guys will help you out. Hit my buddy up, my John up, my buddy, ah, my buddy John, his card and his contact info will be right around here, and it will be in the description. Thank you guys so much um, for tuning in today. I'm gonna to cut this video. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, contact these guys. We will be picking up with the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack with the F8 Green or the High Octane Red, whatever one we can get our hands on. And if you guys have any cards you want me to you know, go find and kind of you want to know about, please let me know, man. I'm all for it. Um, I love doing these reviews for you guys and I really love your feedback. Um, I do my best to kind of improve my content every single time. But I thank you guys. I will see you when I see you. Peace.